Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at an interesting thing that might come up during your next journey with the Boeing 747. And that is uh, getting a fuel tank error. So if you're flying along and you look down and I uh, suddenly notice you get this warning that says fuel tank eng. Uh, don't worry about the fuel temp load, by the way. Uh, one of the downsides of starting at altitude is it tends to put ice in your fuel. Uh, don't worry about it too much. That's not our issue here. But you might get this error that says fuel tank eng. And you're like, wait, what? What does that even mean? Well, the problem with the Boeing 747, or maybe one of the good news is about it, is the fact that you have a situation where you have a massive fuel tank in the middle, really big fuel tank here, and a little tiny fuel tank over on the wings. What does that mean? Well, let's go flip on the fuel page real quick and take a look at the problem here. When you have the default set up on this particular aircraft, what you're actually doing is you're pulling fuel from this really, really big main tank, and you're actually feeding engines one and two on the left on this main tank. Then on the right side, you're actually feeding engines three and four also on this main tank. What you probably observe is we have this tank that's main one and a tank that's main four, and you'll notice that those are not filling anything anywhere. What they actually do is they have the ability to feed the uh, main tank too if it needs to in a pinch, and depending on how you set up the fuel pump switches, it can actually do that. So what we actually have to do is we have to cut off this little cross-feed valve here to make sure that this engine is only pulling from that tank. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You stick your head up here, and you click these two switches. Now, if you look down, you'll observe the fact that this engine is now pulling fuel directly out of main one, and you'll observe that engine four here is pulling fuel directly out of uh, main number four here. Now, the reason that's important for us is we don't really need a lot of extra fuel um, basically unbalanced in the aircraft. You want to think about it another way. If this is really heavy and this is really light, that could create an interesting little wingtip issue where this is a much bigger mass that's going to be flopping around than what you have on the rest of the wing there. So it's going to create some interesting instabilities there. The other thing that makes this kind of fun too is when you're working off the center tank here, which uh, we have no fuel in right now. You can see we're running a little dry. I, I did that intentionally. We're actually not going to be able to, we have to empty those tanks out before we can empty these two tanks out before you can empty those two tanks out as well. So the key takeaway here is if you do get that message about tank end like that, all you have to do is you have to shut off those two cross feed valves and now you're ready to rock. Now, one of the interesting things here is if I actually bring up the weight and balance real fast. You'll observe that all of our main tank engines are now being, or fuel tanks rather, are now being drawn from equally. Now, where it gets really interesting is what happens in the event that you somehow drain all the fuel on that side. Now, your initial instinct, of course, is if that happens, you know that engine will cut out. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, drain those two tanks completely. Now, when you do that, you'll notice instantaneously the engine's cut out for half a second, and then the engine's fired back up again because the main one now is actually feeding the main two directly. Now, the fuel pressure here is not going to be great, and now you're going to see your engines fluctuating a lot as they basically race around trying to keep everything fed, which is one of the reasons why it's usually not recommended to run those fuel tanks down that low. So now if I put a little bit of fuel back in here, we'll be able to draw back from there and actually be able to safely continue operating this aircraft for that purpose. Obviously, not a lot of fuel. One of the interesting things here, though, let me go ahead and put on a nice balance level of fuel here. You're going to get a big angry message here is that when we're nice and filled back up here, we actually don't want to be pulling out of main one and main two. We want to be emptying the main three. So if we were in that situation, I don't know how we got in fuel uh, in flight refueling here, but if we did, we could just go back up there, hit the cross feeds. And what that would do is reconnect it the way that it was intended to be connected here. Now, the cool thing is you're not going to get that error until you're pretty darn low on fuel. This is like something you get at the end of the fuel of the uh, trip here. So if I go down to, let's say, 5% uh, fuel, notice that's still not enough to actually trigger it. It's only going to happen when this is significantly less than the main tanks on the outside. But other than that, enjoy.